research, frolicking around in its natural habitat. The happy researcher is known to hunt in packs and tends to be rather successful. But in light of all these achievements, the researcher on their own becomes disconcerted when it encounters certain species. One of the biggest foes of research are those prone towards mistrust of government itself. Due to their prolonged exposure to certain stimuli, they can provide the researcher with several preconceived concepts. On the surface can be challenging to the researcher, but capable of being overcome. Other research reluctance may appear in the form of passive resistance. While less aggressive, they are formidable protagonists in the line of research. This can be attributed towards a lack of trust, or even being victims of a prior confidence trickster, like say a door-to-door -door salesman. Sometimes it may be a rapid jump to conclusions, or the guilty conscience of a prior tax return that may become the source of resistance. No doubt any researcher worth their salt will have encountered any of these scenarios as to reasons for declining participation. However, one of the strongest tools for any researcher is the SIPSI Act. SIPSI is the acronym of the Confidential Information Protection and Statistical Efficiency Act, a federal law enacted in 2002. And SIPSI changed how the government itself could use and share statistical data between government departments and also strengthen the confidentiality for individuals and organizations who provide information under a pledge of confidentiality for federal statistical programs that serve both the interests of the public and the needs of society. The data collected may be used for legitimate statistical purposes only and only shared between government departments with a written sharing agreement. With such a great emphasis on confidentiality, researchers often need to pass rigorous background checks and are also bound by a strict confidentiality agreement for not only the study period but hereafter for all time forever. Under Section 513 of the SIPSI Act, any willful disclosure of protected data may see the researcher himself or herself guilty of a Class E felony and imprisoned for up to five years or fined $250,000 or even both. And with taking a pledge of confidentiality, researchers can assure the public that any information provided by individuals or organizations is used strictly for legitimate statistical purposes only and never used against such individuals or organizations in any agency action. And lucky for you, Guy, that means those Cayman Island accounts are all safe from the knowledge of the IRS all protected from disclosure under the SIPSI Act to facilitate research to a whole new statistical excellence. So the next time you encounter any research reluctance of your own, just say SIPSI. SIPSI. SIPSI.